Hey YouTube, this is going to be my Game of Thrones Season 6 Episode 2 Preview video. So spoiler alert for everything, and here is the promo clip for the episode. Get out of my way. King's orders, your grace. You don't know which way she went. I spent three days looking for her. She disappeared. We know where she's going. Castle Black isn't defended on the southern side. We could storm the castle. You would spill blood in this holy place. Well, the gods spill more blood than the rest of us combined. The official title of this episode is Home. Well, this could mean the characters are looking for their home or visiting their home. Bran is officially returning in this episode. He trains with the Three-Eyed Raven. He is going to visit Winterfell with the help of his green sight vision. I've already talked about this flashback scene. It involves three child actors playing as young Ned Stark, Binjin, and Hodor. The rumor says this flashback will explain why Hodor can only say Hodor. You have to keep in mind that this is only a speculation. Arya is living in the streets of Braavos, but she was expelled from the House of Black and White. As you can see, Arya and Waif are training in the streets, and Jacken interrupts the fight. He is going to allow her back in the house. Arya will be given a second chance to redeem herself. In Winterfell, Ramsay assumes Sansa went to Castle Black, and he proposes a plan. He suggests to storm Castle Black to retrieve Sansa, but I don't think this plan will be executed. First, he'll write a letter to the late Lord Commander, Jon Snow, demanding Sansa back, or he'll come up there with an army and take her himself. Probably this could be the infamous Pink Letter, a bit different version in this show. Somewhere in the north, Brienne and Sansa are in need of shelter. They are having a conversation in an open, cold place. Brienne says she spent three days looking for Arya, but she disappeared. The title home could refer to Sansa plotting to take Winterfell from the Boltons. In Marine, Tyrion is going to meet the dragons. His childhood dream is about to become true. I believe he wants to release them. Remember what he said in the trailer? Dragons do not do well in captivity. In Castle Black, Sir Alistair Thorne and the mutineers will try to break in to kill all the loyalists. I wonder if Ed arrives right on time with the wildlings to help Sir Davos and his brothers. The episode synopsis says, The Night's Watch stands behind Sir Alistair Thorne. John is dead. The Night's Watch need a new leader, and Sir Alistair Thorne is the only man who can lead them, so they have no other choice except to follow him. This is a bit of a surprise. In King's Landing, Queen Mother Cersei is stopped by the Lannister soldiers. She orders them to get out of her way, and the soldier replies, King's order, and everyone got scared when the mountain came forward. Looks like Tommen is trying to be a real king. He is enforcing new orders. This could be the effect of Jamie's advice, but still, he'll remain the same old weak king. Speaking of Jamie, he confronts High Sparrow for the first time. He draws his knife out and threatens to kill him, and the Faith militants are in a ready position to stop him. I personally like the High Sparrow. He reminds me of the working concept of power. Do you remember? Varus once explained to Tyrion how power really works. He said, power resides where men believe it resides. It's a trick, a shadow on the wall. The Lannisters executed Ned Stark, one of the greatest lords in the Seven Kingdoms. He had 50 men protecting him before he was arrested. They didn't even give him a fair trial. Now, if you look at the High Sparrow, he has no army. He has only the faith militant and the support of the common people. The Lannisters and the Tyrells can squash him in no time. Yet, he handles everyone like a boss. He arrested Queen Marjorie and the heir to the High Garden. He tore apart the Queen Mother by the Walk of Shame punishment. He didn't get afraid of Jamie's threats. He proves the fact that power resides where men believe it resides. HBO has released a new clip of Danny entering Vi's Dothrak. It suits this episode well, but the title says it is from episode 3. We haven't seen Samwell in the first episode. We could see his voyage to Old Town. And finally, the Iron Islanders are officially coming back. Well, Euron Greyjoy might be coming home. We know what happens if he arrives. He is going to assassinate his brother Balon to become the Lord of the Iron Islands. Okay guys, that's it. Thank you for watching. Like and share this video. And don't forget to subscribe.